Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to a wonderful day of Shoreline Wars adventure in a brand new game called Astrox Hostile Space Excavation Simulator. So, what exactly is this game? Well, what interested me is kind of I was reading some of the comments, and there was a couple comments that mentioned about kind of like if you like Eve Online, that you might like this game, and at the time this game was dirt cheap to buy so I decided heck why not let's dump in and you know, I need a good space game to play right there's people playing No Man's Sky and all that stuff and so what we're gonna do is I turned off the sound for this part because it's really super loud and so what I'm gonna be doing in editing is you're gonna be listening to the music but it's gonna be toned down so that way you can kind of enjoy it and so let's carry on so I'm gonna click on a new game and we're just gonna call ourselves, as usual, Charlotte War. Perfect. So let's create. You can kind of change your face. Not sure why. Let's pick this goofy dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. These faces are terrible. This is the only problem I have with Astrox. Is it'd be nice if you could kind of tweak these yourself. So the difficulty right now is at 63%. Uh, there's a certain difficulty to the game, and so yeah. And so, what we're going to do is let's kind of just read this. For thought crimes against the corporate federation, you have been sentenced to Astrox in deep space, financial rehabilitation sector. <laughs> your assignment, pay your fine, and earn your freedom. Astrox is a very dangerous place. It is up to you to provide adequate defenses against pirates who have taken control of this sector. Local merchants provide all the equipment you'll need to survive, so spend your earnings wisely if you want to live. So basically that's the gist of the game, is you're, you're stuck in this area and you need to go and harvest materials and sell it, and as you earn money there's pirates and stuff in the area and all that stuff. So let's actually click on the customize. So there's lots that can be done with customizing, a lot. So you can do, there's galaxy map options, and you can have like a number of systems from 10 to 100, right? So let's just keep the 10. Let's keep it simple for the first playthrough. But I think we're going to do more of these. I'm not sure how I'm going to number the series. I'm not sure if I'm going to do seasons. I'll probably do these as seasons. So this would be season one. And then season two would be a new generation of the same character because there is some sort of replayability with this game. So. I guess we'll discover that as we go along. Uh, so let's just keep going. So random, how will systems in the galaxy be placed? Spiral or random. So basically tree, spiral or random. That's kind of cool. So we can kind of customize the way our universe looks, right? Let's just do random, it doesn't really matter. Then there's warp gates, so you can actually connect them. Oh, that's cool. So there's a certain style of play. So we'll just pick the linear style colors would you like different colors for each map or just the default dot though well, let's do the random because that's the default setting you click on these the yeah, stations I guess you know, that tells you how many can spawn in an area maximum number of rocks in a cluster low to high oh, that's kind of cool so you can kind of tweak how many rocks and how big they are chance that Astro will be rare one is normal Okay, that's interesting. We'll have to play with these in another playthrough at some point. Asteroid respawn rate, setting this so... Okay, so you can speed it up or turn it off from respawning at all. That could be an interesting challenge if you have more systems. And then there's asteroid rotation. Setting this will prevent the asteroid from rotating at all. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they can probably move around. That would probably increase your fuel consumption and stuff. So this is Galaxy Map. There's also pirate options. Oh boy, it's going to be a long episode. Make sure you grab your drinks and your tasty treats. So in your pirate options here, we have the respawn pirates, pirate speed. So we're just going to see. So we can turn it on or off. So it's like a switch. Okay, do respawn after you kill the officer of the map. So you can turn... So we'll keep that off, so once we clear the pirates in the map, they're gone forever. And there's officer bounties, so you can kind of make them better, that's kind of cool. A pirate spawn rate, how long to wait for pirate spawns. Pirate spawn count, 
up to how many pirates will spawn the squad. Pirate strength. Okay, so that's cool. So we're going to leave these all as it is. And if just click X. But see, the difficulty is back to 30%. But all we did was click on customize. So what, what changed? If we go reset, it all puts it back. Huh. That's interesting. So I'm just going to click back. And we're going to go create. Yeah, let's just go back. Back. Let's go new game. Create. No, it's still 30%. Oh, well. We'll just go with that difficulty and, and go from there. So, so let's do this. Let's go launch. Okay, so here we are. Man. So what are we going to do? I think we need to change the sound settings now. So now we can go sound music options. And let's change them to, I think, here and here. We'll adjust these as we go. There we go. We got music. Now these are notifications that come up. Now I have done, there is some gameplay options. So let's go through this. I think the game is paused, is it? Um, I don't think it matters, but there is that possibility right here. Pause. Perfect. Okay. So in this pause screen here, actually, you know what? I can't remember if I told you. I might have told you but again I'm gonna have a drink so uh, yes tasty water okay so we're paused so we can continue so there's gonna be a tutorial that we get to go through so we're gonna do that together and the length of this episode I'm not sure it's probably gonna go long so you'll know how long it is this will be the first episode so we're gonna do this extra long we'll try and complete the the tutorial in this first episode and it'll give you a good idea of what the game is about and if you're still with me then great and if not at least you'll see what the style is going to be and I'm going to try and do minimal minimal editing with this this is going to be completely lazy content so if you like your complete playthroughs and all that stuff then you, you definitely carry on watching if not then don't worry about it this is the reason why I have the music set so high so that way then you, know, you can kind of enjoy the music and the atmosphere that the game brings because that's where I find where the game is it's not so much as what you do in the game it's more of the atmosphere right and that atmosphere is with the music and the music it tends to repeat itself but that's only if you play it for too long so yes yeah, so let's kind of carry on together and I'm gonna read this stuff out loud and we're gonna take our time have a good time with this so orientation officer welcome to Astrox Welcome to Astrox, the most hostile mining prison in the galaxy. I don't even want to know what you did to catch a sentence like this. I suspect it wasn't much. The corporate feds are low on profits. Cool. If you want to have any chance of escaping this frozen hell, you best listen carefully to my instructions. My last partner was killed at the warp gate because he was stubborn and thought he knew it all. These newbies are all the same. They want to get rich quick without paying their dues. Hopefully you won't fall victim to the same fate as they sheesh yeah I need to speak better so it's gonna be an, another thing for this whole series is to try and do that to speak better orientation officer I'm already sick and tired of training you idiots although I must admit you're exploding ships you do look like pretty fireworks anyway I've got a few credits riding on you in the pool right on man if you don't want my help, just open your options by pressing escape or pressing the small gear on the bottom of your ship hub. Unless you are a veteran, I would not recommend that. Oh, cool. Alrighty, enough of the pleasantries. Forget everything you know about space cruisers. These hunks of junks aren't anything like the ones back at home, so pay attention. Each mining ship... Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to turn this bugger off. Yeah, okay, so it's going to go through all of these kind of things, so I'm actually going to go in, oh, I can't go into my game options okay let's go into gameplay options there where's the tutorial change pilot avatar uh, reset we can reset the tutorial want to start the tutorial I've head to system zero and click this button oh, okay I thought there was a spot to turn it off okay well anyways let's get back into it here I'm not sure what he told me to do but this is our basic ship here and looks like we have a basic miner and we have a weapon a beam weapon here 
Okay, now up in here in the corner, you'll see there's different you views things, right? You can unlock targets to view galaxy map, target overlay on or off. You, you can list all the stations in the system. You can list the pirates that are around. You can list the asteroids that exist. You can list all the warp gates. And then there's, you, you can turn auto docking with stations on here. And you can turn auto warping with the warp gates on and off. Let's keep those off so you see what it looks like. And we'll go from there. So we'll list the stations. You can also use the mouse wheel here to scroll all the way out. All the way out. Awesome. And yeah, with this scroll wheel here, uh, I just scroll out. You can, if you keep going out, you'll eventually get an idea of what the system looks like. And then if you scroll out more and more, you kind of have the galaxy map. So it's a small 10 you map thing and it's a linear galaxy so basically we'll go here one two three all the way up to you know like levels like level 10 right and so up here we have we'll have some fighters up in this area here and we also have some fighters around the warp gate there's also stuff here to go mining and in the first playthrough I did on my own there was actually another station but it looks like now we're the only station so we do have some room, we have 10 cargo room, so, and we have 2,500 credits, right? So, I'm actually going to click on the station here to dock into it, and we're going to upgrade our ship. And see, if you don't have it set to auto dock, you have to actually click to dock the ship. And then now here we are in the ship. The ship is kind of cool, or this view is kind of neat. You can kind of zoom in, right? You can zoom out do all that fun stuff down here you'll see a bunch of stuff there's you know the the news thing so you can kind of read just about the contracts and that's kind of a thing we'll get into as well which is kind of neat then we have the refine thing this is where if you have resources we can turn those resources into your money here we have modules that you can scrap the cargo utility there's anything extra that you have you'll be able to scrap in here for just some cash because everything's kind of dictated by cash it seems we have another sip here oh yeah so the garage here this is another thing uh, this is where you can kind of modify your ship there's like the static modules on your ship which are things that enhance your speed your engines your shields uh, your armor any kind of that kind of stuff and this is your active st slots the ones that you can click on on the bottom then there's also sh ship modulators which the later ship will will use and then these are extra modules that you will always have this is like your inventory of your character so to speak but you always have this have access to this in the stations so if that kind of makes sense here we have buttons for refuel ship and repair damage i strongly recommend in the options to turn on the auto refuel and auto repair because really you know, you're going to forget you know, a lot of the time. You just want to kind of hop in, do your stuff, and go. This is kind of like a mundane task. Now, unless you actually want to do this, and you force yourself to click, or maybe you don't want to because you're going to get a new ship, then yeah, then definitely don't waste the cash on it, right? So, I can totally see that. But the cost is so minimal that it doesn't even matter. So, yeah. And then we just click on these other ones to see the other stuff. Market, this is where you can buy and sell stuff. So as you can see, these are the values. This pacer would be an engine seed, says class static on the left there. So it kind of helps you. You, you can kind of figure out the fuel pod increases your capacity and so forth. You also get special stuff from uh, the the pirates. Like after you kill the, the end pirate, which is kind of like a boss pirate, then you get a rare item typically. So you always want to have your inventory available when you're doing those battles. So... I might get the cargo expander because this is how we make money. So the first things first is we buy one of, the, of these with our cash, right? And then maybe we should buy another miner. We we'll buy another miner, and then I think we will purchase. Oh, look, they have blasters this time. There's projectile. There's a couple of different classes of weapons. There's like laser weapons, and then there's like projectile weapons. So that's a thing. There's also, you can also kind of, you break the, 
you the inventory of the shop into these things like ship upgrades and active modules and utility items trade goods blah 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 all right so let's just take a quick peep in a peek in here fuel pod light armor light shield i think we can even buy a ship too with our money we'll check that out in here if not then all these things i bought are still useful um, and I think before you sell a ship anyways, you want to take off all the modules so you keep them. <laughs> it's a little trick I learned. So yeah, so this is kind of cool. Utility items, these are things you can activate. There's ammo here for things. This is like individual shots and you need space for that on your ship. So think about that. And these are trade goods. Those are useful for jobs. So now if you click on ship, it shows you your ship with the cargo stats. So this, this is for the, the geeks out there, the nerds out there that want to, you know, this stuff. I guess it's kind of useful, but, you know, you know, like once you play the game, you'll feel, you'll understand. You, most of these are just for fun. You know, the higher the values, the better, really. And, and yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really you care about min and maxing like that because the game is a little bit random as well. So then on, now let's go to the jobs. Jobs. So this is jobs that you can do. And basically, if you notice here, once you accomplish these, then you can turn them in at the appropriate station. It tells you the appropriate station. And these are timed, but these will always be here and they always come and go. And these kill ones are accumulative. So if you don't turn them in, then they don't disappear until you turn them in. So it's kind of cool that way. All right? And so you, a lot of this stuff I don't think is really applies unless it's more advanced or maybe the warp gates just go anywhere and maybe the game isn't as linear as it could be but with the linear progression you'll see how the linear progression goes if you stick around and yeah definitely watch me you do all that and so you can break down the different ones into each of the things the transporting is easy so for example if i could you buy food rations and bring them here. So this is where you have multiple stations. This is where it counts, right? You make some money, but I think you make more money doing the mining. That's the best. So that's why I bought the cargo pods, right? And so now let's check out the shipyard. So these are the new ships, right? So I think the current ship we have is a scout anyways. So we need 1,500. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build up to the infiltrator, which is a three and the four this is a good upgrade and we already have the scout so it doesn't matter universities for your character and what this is is as you play the game you're gonna level up and you're gonna get skill points which then you can use towards skills and so that would be interesting to see we'll explore that there's also a kind of crafting in this game which kind of shocked me a little bit so what there's crafting and so as you talk to NPCs you you get recipes right or you can figure out with trial and error I haven't really you done this much but I think it'd be interesting to try and you basically you take the components that you can you find so if we go into our market here there's components your trade goods which are special that you can find and you'll be able to use in here to create kind of better versions of stuff so you don't necessarily want to sell all your your old equipment because you can sometimes combine them and make recipes now I'll, now i don't know if these carry over into the new game i kind of hope they do because this would be kind of pointless because you kind of outgrow your equipment at a really quick pace and this almost becomes irrelevant to do this it's it's neat but it's not like fleshed out completely so yeah so i'm not sure if that makes sense Hangar, you can have multiple ships in a hangar. So, but I think you have to lease the space. You have to like click on this and then you can lease the space of the hangar. It's dirt cheap, but uh, you lease 1K space. That's interesting. I wonder how that works exactly, but maybe we'll figure that out at some point. I've never really had the, the need. Mm, that's interesting. I've never had the need to leave stuff in the station. So I guess if I had too much stuff and I didn't want to sell it I guess you could dump it in here I don't know I guess we'll check that out as the time comes and we just go on dock so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go garage we're going to uh, put this cargo expander in we're gonna take that off we're gonna put the basic miner we're not 
you're going to do any combat. You know, kind of make sure we refuel and to repair any damage. Okay, and you click on these to get rid of these notices. Uh, refuel basic miners have been purchased, so I might buy another expander because that will definitely work. Okay, why can't I garage? Okay, no, never mind. I want to mark it, not garage. Silly me. Okay, let's buy another cargo expander because we know we're going to earn the value back within, you know, like a quick run. Okay, so our ship is outfitted. So now let's undock and you can see what happens. Okay, so the game automatically saves as you exit the, the station, which is pretty cool. And let's actually zoom out. We could use the list to bring up all the asteroids in the distance, but I like to zoom out just to get an idea of where they are in relation. And there's these little boxes that you can actually click on to pick up, and so that's important. So this game has fuel. Let's go escape. Let's go into, there's some, some gameplay options. See, auto refuel, auto repair. And this is kind of where you can auto dock, auto warp and auto warp destination. We'll leave those off. We'll put the auto dock on because when we click on the dock on the station we want to dock to it. We don't really want to sit outside so that doesn't matter. So those are important gameplay settings to help you with that. And this is the game. Just a nice relaxing, you can watch your ship fly. In the early game you're just sitting here watching your ship fly. You can kind of zoom in on it. Do this. You can push the C I think. Uh, there's some hotkeys, the V for the view, and you can kind of control your ship as well, right? But that's kind of awkward that way. A V to get out of that, to get back into this view, and I think, yeah, just, there's two views. <clears throat> yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, I am a little bit sick, because I've gotten sick from my son, so which kind of sucks. So yeah, see, it automatically picks up the crate. There was 68 credits in there. Just zooming out here. There are pirates in the way, but I don't think they're okay. So to use these things, you have to click on them to activate them. And they're gonna use your energy slowly. So we'll see how that happens. So we'll click on this one right here. So when you click on stuff, it automatically goes there. So that's kinda cool. Now these guys, I don't know if they actually engage these, these pirates at all. But basically these pirates, these levels of, of pirates continue to respawn, I think. Or did we turn that off? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll do combat eventually. Right now, you can get pretty close to them without actually engaging them. So that is a thing. Yeah, that is a thing. So right now, we're flying to the asteroid. And when we get close to it, I'll zoom in and you'll see kind of what happens. These guys fly in a pattern, they don't really move around or wander, which is kind of interesting. So right now, you'll see it's using up energy, and basically when your energy is used up, you're going to stop mining. And then, I think, when you... Oh! Oh, what's this? We can go comlink. Jeez, you scared the crap, I guess I should have spent all night in the lounge. This headache is killing me, I should probably be heading out. Oh, I didn't know you could communicate with... With NPCs. Huh. But you're mining my rock, buddy. So what are you doing? See, there's a hit point on the rock. If you notice, there's hit points here. And they go down slowly. And you see, you know, the energy has to recharge slowly. So that has a time factor. So the start of the game is very slow pace. I have a lot of cargo space. Uh, more pirates are detected. I guess this game might have some editing. So I tell you what, I'm just going to go carry on with with processing these. I'm not going to fight anything, so you don't have to worry about that. And yeah, and I'm going to harvest these asteroids until I'm full, so I'll be back at that point. So I'm here, I'm just kind of sitting here doing my thing, you know, I'm letting it recharge. And basically I'm only using one of these, I guess we didn't have to buy a second miner, because we need like, I guess an energy enhancement thing so that way we recharge energy faster but basically been doing this so we do have some decent cargo so let's actually fly back so these asteroids regenerate so let's fly back to our station here and I'm just gonna kinda left click and I'm gonna go back over there 
And see, this just tells you more pirate raiders. So there's like four groups of them. Oh man, that's so cool. But they shouldn't really bother us. The asteroids are are quite a way. Like you can get, you should be able to process all of these without being molested because they're kind of in the outer area. I wonder how many more will spawn in this area. I don't think you very much more, but we are using the default settings. So yeah, so I guess we'll just keep going. Oh. No, it's it looked like it was flying coast, but it's just only in that view. So let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, we're coming up to the station here, which is pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. It's kind of neat that you can kind of watch your ship, you can rotate all around. And, you know, too bad you can't have more than one ship and kind of control other things, or maybe you can. Maybe I just don't know, and I haven't really seen that. So you're gonna see that this will automatically refuel itself once we dock in here. Boom, bada bing, perfecto. Okay, so yeah, so there we go. So I might show the combat as well, so let's do that. Let's go into our garage here. Let's do those. Let's put one of these bad boys on. Let's actually, oh yeah, and this is how you process your materials into money. You can refine materials, and if you look in the bottom left, it says you refine 22% dash or yeah sorry 22 to 25 percent the salt crystal and aluminum shards so it, it kind of um, it creates the other components which then you can kind of take to other you places with the job right with the transport oh look at that oh look at this so we can actually complete some quests so let's do this one and let's do this one cool we got some extra cash so good thing we checked there that's excellent. Now this Torum, I don't think there is any Torum in that, that group of asteroids. But see, but these things can come out of this stuff, some of the stuff that they need, right? But now we can kind of sell the rest of this atomite. That's awesome. There you go, now we have 1800 bucks. See, so now we can actually, see this is where you can scrap modules for the money. This is how much you'll get for them, I think, 118 if you scrap it. And you know you can scrap other stuff. So let's go back into our, our market here. So we need like an energy module thing. I don't think there is right here. Light energy. This is what we need to buy. This will help recharge stuff. Okay. And then if we go back into garage, we'll pop one of those off. Put one of those on. Now this should help us do better in combat as well. Beam weapon. This is only one. I'm thinking we might need an, another weapon, but I don't, oh yeah, we can buy another laser. Yeah, I usually like to configure a ship for harvesting and a ship for attacking, right? And then in the garage, I'll basically pop out. With this thing, we should be better. The cargo space, well, it's just good to have. It's always good to have extra cargo. And let's kind of check out the combat. Okay, combat. So. Combat it can be done in a couple ways. We can use the list feature. Where are we? We can use this list feature, the list of pirates, uh, which will show up in here. But I think we'll go to these ones because they're the closest. You need to click on these to activate them like always. Now you see we have more energy, 220 instead of 15. So these are shields, uh, these are hull. These will go down. First your shields, then your hull. That's kind of how it goes, so it's kind of like two bars of hit points. You can have special items in here that you can click on to do stuff. Now, because I clicked on them, it's going to fly to them. And it's, you, because these are turned on, they're going to shoot, right? So it's kind of, I don't know, redundant to do that. But I guess if you want to control how to shoot your ships on and off, and we basically just fly right up to them. and bang and then we try and click on the other one. I usually go list and do the the next nearest one like that and then I can click and uh, there's damage crates see so we got Loken R in one of them see this is why you need space <laughs> there we go woo first pirate killed woo metal I don't know where you can see those can we click on this laser beam focus this is where you can see experience so this is the difficulty percent. See, total tours of duty. This is why I have a feeling that this is kind of a part of it. There's these achievements. See, 
that you can get. There's just these random statistics which you'll be able to look through. So yeah, there's lots of stuff. So that's why, you know, I you lots of stuff I haven't really discovered yet. So that's why I want to do it with all of you. So basic combat is as simple as that. Let's go after these pirates as well. We got some good shields and hit points. Yeah, they'll keep respawning. So, which is fine and dandy. So we'll just shoot these ones down. You get some more loot and then fly back to the station and then we'll call it an episode. But this is the basics of the game and basically this is what we're doing. We're going to go around harvesting materials, selling them for resources, we're going to go after some pirates and you're going to be along for the journey. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do the footage. I'm going to do it with minimal editing though so it's probably going to be some cuts um, and maybe when I have to harvest, I'll turn it off, and then when I change to attacking, then I'll I'll attack again, or like I'll I'll go back to oh, boom, I leveled up. That's awesome, you know. And then I'll go back to the combat, go back and forth, and you, that way you can kind of follow along. So we got some goldite dust, level two. Your countless efforts and successful endeavors have bestowed upon you a great and timeless wisdom. You've gained one skill point. You need 20 experience points to reach the next. So yeah, that's cool. See, we got water. Eight water out of that. So yeah, looks like we got damaged. Now to recover damage, you have to go. So let's turn these off. You have to basically go to. Oh, we don't want to go to this. You there? We basically have to go back to our station, and and it will automatically repair itself because we have the repair you turned on, right? If you remember. Um, or there's items that you can use for that but yeah so as we're flying back to the station here let's enjoy the view of our ship so thank you everybody for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this episode hopefully i gave you a good background of the game and you know hopefully you're still watching this with some human eyeballs if not that's okay you know no big deal but i'll see you all in the next one bye bye